this pilot school is, is a unique experience. It's incredible to be able to see so many different airplanes in one place because you can't buy experience like this anywhere else. If you look at when our school was uh, founded, we've been around for almost 50 years. So everything that's tested or flown in the Navy, someone came through the school to test it the first time. It, it's important to me, the TPS tradition and the heritage, um, because a lot of people are proud of it. A lot of people have come through here that have gone on and done great things. It's very valuable training. Uh, it's, it's, it's a graduate level training, of course, and very specialized. Take great pride in having made the airplanes better and safer uh, as they went to the fleet for the Navy and Marine Corps. And the issue of why we have test pilots is a, is a very good one. Um, and a, why, and I, I'm a very strong proponent of our test pilot school. The whole corpus of what we have surrounding um, Navier is built around having those quality folks and a schoolhouse that can produce them. It's a center of expertise, but also the, where all the test pilots are qualified and trained. But that's not only for the U.S. Navy, it's also for the U.S. Air Force, the Coast Guard, the U.S. Army. Each aircraft on our, on our flight line uh, serves a very specific purpose. It, it might display certain flying qualities or characteristics that, that make it the best to teach that. We have 10 different type model series aircraft out there, ranging from the oldest aircraft in the Navy, which is the, uh, the Otter, an old tail dragger, to F-18 Hornets, frontline fighters for the Navy. The Otter is the oldest airplane in the, the Navy in terms of its bureau number. The Beaver is actually was built earlier than the Otter, but it didn't come into the Navy until later years. I love to see what it's like uh, for these guys to see this for the very first time, uh, and so that they can get an appreciation for not only the aviation heritage that's represented by these old airplanes, but also because they're, they love a challenge and they love to be able to say, you know, if I can start it, I can fly it. Some things are, are the basics. We, we have what we call our core curriculum uh, work. That doesn't change. Flying is flying. Uh, you pull back and the houses get smaller, you push forward, it gets, it, they get bigger. But you, you, you have to learn from the old. And if you don't, then when you apply it to something newer, you won't have the basis for good evaluations. And our students, when they come here, typically have a thousand hours of flight time. I mean, they're not brand new pilots, they just aren't test pilots. So they're very, very good at flying a Hornet, or flying an H-60, or flying their uh, C-130. But they don't have a lot of exposure in other types of, of air vehicles. All exposure for test pilots is good, anything they can fly, and we try to get our, our students to fly somewhere between 18 and 25 airplanes while they're here. So um, all exposure makes them better. That's part of the learning curve here also, is, uh, is taking on new aircraft and figuring out uh, how to fly those safely and, uh, and accomplish the goals of the syllabus also. When you're out testing, if something is not working exactly as planned, you have a bigger repertoire of uh, experiences to say, boy, this is kind of like what I saw in that airplane. Uh, maybe I should do this to, to get out of it. As a tester, I mean, you definitely, definitely got to be on your game. Major decisions are going to be determined off this data that you're flying. So you have to be very precise and accurate and portray that in your reports. I thoroughly enjoyed test pilot school. Academically, it was very challenging, but the flying and the pace that they keep you at, um, it, it's stimulating um, and it's challenging. The great thing here is that I, I going back to that pilot-engineer relationship, I get a chance to really learn and understand that fleet language and understand how to translate that into engineering terms and really creating a better aircraft. For the civilian engineers that come through here, it gives them a, uh, a new perspective and a better toolbox with which to do their engineering job and the competencies. For the military, I think it, it opens doors for them both in their military career and uh, when they decide to exit the military and uh, build a career in the civilian world. You have to have at least one tour under your belt, one fleet tour, so uh, you have an experience with your aircraft, and uh, then it's a board process, you know, paperwork, uh, approval from your skipper, recommendations from other folks or other test pilots, and then it's a selection process. It becomes very competitive, so you know that you're being put up against the best of the best. So just being nominated is an honor, and then being into the process, you know that you're going to have to 
do pretty good work and show, show them that you're the top candidate to be here in order to get here. It's an exciting opportunity um, to work with so many different people, fly so many different aircraft, but also to work with so many professional people. A lot of the civilian staff has been here 20 years plus, and they, I think they truly have a passion for the school, a passion for the students that come through here. It's pretty neat because the students feed that passion and that's what keeps uh, a lot of our longtime instructors going here. Take them back and show them this is, this is the way it was and this is from this basic, this is how we've evolved to what we have now. And to have it all in one is just, you just can't ask for a better place to be able to show it. You can literally walk over and say, let me show you this, and then walk over and say, this is why this airplane's built this way. If you look at the hardware that we have, if you just look at the flight line, I think it's pretty easy to justify that we are uh, the most unique and diverse squadron in the Navy. From a sales pitch standpoint, where else can you go and fly the newest and the oldest and a lot of things in between?